Jonathan, we saw some pictures online. Were there hats uh, in your front lawn after last series? Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a neighborhood and just came along and bring a few hats on the field, uh, on my field in front and wrote a few words on them. And uh, yeah, it's real thoughtful. How many times have you had hats in your front lawn? Uh, only twice. Uh, <laughs> two years ago against Colorado, I had a hat trick there and that was the first time. Right side. Kevin Wilkinson and not Vegas for Mark, but how much do you look back on that series in the bubble against Dallas? How much does that come up in this leading into this one? Um, I'm not so sure it really brings up much. Um, you know, teams have changed, coaches have changed. Um, you know, I think both teams have different goalies. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously don't want the same results. So, um, but I don't think that that series is really in the back of our minds. We're more worried about uh, the way we've played this year. Up front. Jesse Grange with The Athletic for Mark. Um, what do you think it's going to be like playing against Pete and specifically the system that you guys ran for the last few years? Yeah, I mean, I think there's going to be, um, you know, he knows a lot of uh, our player tendencies and we know a lot of his coaching tendencies. So um, we'll probably just cancel each other out once the series gets going. Um, you know, we're trying to beat the Dallas Stars, uh, whether they play one way or the other. Um, I mean, we had a pretty good game plan going into the Edmonton series and we, you know, we hadn't really played much against that coach at all. Um, there's video out there, right? Uh, everybody watches video, so I think everybody has a game plan of what they, they want to have success against uh, the other team, and, and it's no different uh, no matter who the coach is. Yeah. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Uh, it's really for either one of you guys, but it's it's noticeable the size and the mobility that you guys on your defense group has and how it plays a role. Uh, what does that do for you guys as forwards to understand the, the size back there and they're also capable of skating, and how does it play a role in this series with the way Dallas definitely likes to funnel pucks towards the net. Uh, yeah, um, it's going to be huge for sure. Uh, but we knew before the year uh, that we had probably one of the best decor in the league. So uh, we're definitely taking that uh, at our advantage. And uh, uh, yeah, they they throw a lot of pucks in front. And I think the blue paint battles, both sides are going to be really important. And uh, I thought we did a good job la last series. But I mean, against Dallas, it's, it's going to be harder. So and to win the ultimate uh, goal here, it's always going to get harder and harder. So it's it's a challenge that we're definitely looking forward to, and I think that we'll be able to to have success. Ryan Clark, ESPN. This is for either one of you. When you look at sort of not only the series Jack has had, but the experience he's had with you guys, what do you think it's been that's allowed him to succeed on ice with this group, but also off ice to where it seems like everyone just speaks genuinely highly of the guy, and they seem like they're all homies. Um, God, it's a good question. I, I, I don't know. I think like I even, I mean, I've said this for what I've been here for five years now. Um, it's a pretty easy group of guys to, uh, to jump into. Um, I did it, um, you know, Petra did it. Um, you now everybody who's come in here, there's been a lot of turnover, um, to try and make this team better. And, um, you know, it's been, you know, I guess a testament to Jack coming in here and not, um, you know, trying to, you know, change anything, just trying to fit in. And that's all guys want here is they just want guys to come in, be themselves, fit in with the group. And um, that allows your on ice uh, success to happen. Um, you get chemistry with uh, with guys off the ice, on the ice. Um, I thought he's done a really good job at that. Um, you know, with, with him and Marshy and, and Barbs, they've uh, created chemistry for the last three, four months, uh, um, which has allowed them to have this kind of success. But um, like I said, it's uh, an easy locker room to, to be in. Um, guys love coming to the rink every day, uh, playing for one another, and, and he's no different. Back left. Jonathan, do you ever reflect on the fact that you came here in expansion draft and now you've been to the Final Four four times in six years? You've won nine playoff rounds, more than anyone else than Tampa. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, we definitely done a lot of good things, right? Uh, a lot of positive after every season, uh, but I mean, at the point where we're at right now, it's we can't think too far. But the ultimate goal is to win it all, right? So, uh, I think that's one thing that uh, Bruce has been doing a lot is keeping us in the moment, taking one game at a time, and that's a, that's a mentality that uh, Gerard was bringing a lot to the first year, just one game at a time, right off the beginning of the season. So. 
uh, yeah, we're just focusing on tomorrow and uh, we've done a lot of good things in the past, but that's as strong as a group as if we've ever had here. So we have to take advantage of the situation we're in. And uh, yeah, I think he, every guy is believing each other here. Um, Mark, just for you, uh, back in January, did you think that you would still have a chance to play this season? And what does it mean to you that you're sitting here now based on everything that you've gone through? I did. Um, when I got hurt, um, this is kind of what, you know, it kind of bothers me about the whole situation. When I got hurt, I knew that I had a week or two to rehab to try and get back to play the rest of the season. That rehab didn't go well. Um, and I knew that the first possible game that I could get cleared to play would be potentially the start of the playoffs. Um, so I made the decision to, to, to get the surgery and I worked hard. Um, I didn't just, you know, float through a rehab. I worked hard because I wanted to be a part of this. Um, and, and it's paid off for me. Um, I've been able to enjoy the team's success um, with everybody and, and I'm on the ice. Uh, so, yeah, I, I didn't want to miss miss being a part of it, um, so I'm just just happy with with where the team's at and, and the success that we've had so far. But um, we're only halfway, but definitely I, I knew I was uh, there was a potential that I could come back and play. Um, would I did I know that I would play the first game of the playoffs? No, I didn't. Uh, I didn't know that my rehab was going to go that smooth, um, but fortunately it did. Danny Webster, Las Vegas Sun. John, before Game Three in Edmonton, how did you kind of stay afloat as far as staying positive, knowing that you were going to find the back of that eventually? And when it did, did it, did it seem like something opened up over the last four games of that series to where it started to click for you? Yeah, I mean, sometimes, obviously, uh, it's hard to get in the slump and get out of it, you know? But I mean, at the time where we were at that time we were playing some good hockey like we we didn't necessarily need me to produce at that time everybody was everybody was chipping in at some point and it just happened that the past few games I've chipped a little bit more and but I mean it's it's a mentality we have this year it's when it's one guy that steps up next game might be another guy that steps up and I think that's the strength of our team is our depth and it can be any guy every, any night and uh, yeah and also, when you, you hit a slump, it's, if you don't get any chances, it's demoralizing. But if you get chances, it's, it's a matter of time. And that's for any offensive player, that I think. So, yeah, just stick with it. Always stay positive. The next day is a new day. The sun gets up and put in the work to become better. Uh, John, what's different with the team now that Marky is back and playing? Well, uh, I mean, the fact that he's on the ice, he's, it's unbelievable. Like, you don't have a lot of guys in the NHL that makes everybody else on the ice look better. And he's the kind of guy who makes everybody on the ice look good when he's there. So uh, he makes your team really that much better. And uh, it just shows by his presence also off the ice how calm he is, how uh, great of a leader he is because he's the kind of guy that He's going to step up in a room and say something, but he's going to bring it on the ice. And that's how you make it a great leader. And uh, yeah, it's, it's 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 one of those things that he's just a game changer for us. And he has been ever since he came in uh, in Vegas.